Wow. What a douchebag. That's what I was talking about. What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports back with a brand new video. First thing, you know the drill. Check out that first link down below in the description if you're interested in any merch. The membership option is active, so if you're interested in supporting the channel, be sure to check that out. Today I have a brand new review video for you. This is the Marcello edition of the douchebag hugger. So this is made by a company called Douchebags. Um, they've since rebranded to just DB Journey, but it's basically a travel bag company that was started by Yoon Olsen. He's huge on YouTube. I watch his vlogs. I'm sure many of you know what I'm talking about. So this is his bag company and I've looked at these for years. My bag was kind of, my daily backpack was kind of uh, tired, put it that way. So I had some sort of opportunity to pick one of these up and I'm actually going to include an ambassador code. So if you are interested in supporting, well, douchebags, but also supporting myself in trying to become an ambassador for the brand, you can check out the link down below. I'm going to leave a coupon code there that you guys can get 15% off anything that you purchase. And I'm trying to do this in order to become an ambassador for the brand. So this is the bag that I picked up in order to become an ambassador. It's one of the first steps. You guys, if you want to support, check out the brand, use that coupon code, and it'll help me maybe become an ambassador, and that'll probably bring you guys more opportunities as well. But let's review this bag right here first. So this is a backpack, and they call it the Hugger 30. It's a 30 liter bag. It holds 30 liters worth of content. And we're gonna go over it. I have a few thoughts on it. Um, but first let's talk about the colorway. So obviously, I actually really like it in this purple colorway. This was a collaboration with Marcelo. So in other words, I have one of Marcelo's personal collection bags that he did in partnership with Douchebags. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm actually a huge fan of the color. I like the purple. I think it looks pretty good overall and it does feel of really, really good quality. It is a little bit big though. This Hugger 30 liter, in my opinion, is too big a bag for what I want to use every single day. They make a 20 liter and I'm not sure yet. I might swap this one out for the 20 liter bag because I find this one too big. The only reason I chose this one is because according to the website description, there is a pocket here. You can see this zipper and there's a pocket right there that goes along the back and it's meant for your laptop. I have a 15 inch MacBook. So according to their website, this is the one that fits a 15 inch MacBook, but the pocket is huge. I don't see how the, 20 liter bag, if it's anything close to this, I don't see how the 15 liter, uh, the 15 inch MacBook Pro, excuse me, won't fit in there. So again, that's the only reason I went for the 30. One of the things they market themselves on is that you get this in huge pocket that opens up all the way. So in terms of easy access, that is definitely easy to get at your things. It does hold a lot of stuff. You have these zippered pockets on the inside right there on both sides where you can put in a few of your, you know, more valuable or things you just don't want flopping around. You can put that in. And it does have this, they call it like a rib cage construction that holds the bag shape. So it's quite sturdy and it does feel like it's made out of really high materials, high end materials. On the top, you get this pocket right here where it's just easy access for stuff. Again, you have a zippered one here if you might want to put a, I don't know, a wallet or a passport or something like that. The strap is, instead of being on the top like most bags, it's kind of on the front here, which is not a big deal. So they throw that on there. And the last thing that these things are, and I actually think this is a really good idea. The douchebag product line is famous for their hookup system. So essentially, you can see on the back here, I'll get the tag out of the way, all of these little areas here have straps or it, it's all sewed on, but I can get my thumb in there. So if you have multiple bags, you can actually hook them onto each other. So you use these little clips here that you see at the top. They're solid, they're made out of metal, which is good, and you unhook them from the strap. And now in theory, I could hook this bag onto another one. So I actually really like that idea, especially for me, if I were to, the one bag that interests me is their ski bag. They have a bag, they call it the, the douche bag, the original douche bag, you can put skis in. So if ever you were on a ski trip, 
that's something I'd be interested in. And if you're walking through the airport wheeling the ski bag, you could have the bag clipped onto that, or you could have the ski bag clipped onto here. And that actually makes a lot of sense to me. But in terms of negative things about this bag, there's no water bottle holder, which is in some ways a deal breaker. Like, I don't understand why you couldn't just put a little pocket here where you could slide a water bottle in. The other thing that I would prefer is if, and I think it would be fairly easy to accommodate it, they do it on some of their other bags. I don't know why they don't have those skateboard straps or ski straps that go across the bag. All you need is two straps here and you still have plenty of hookup options and you would be able to easily attach something on the outside, whether it's a skateboard or skis or a yoga mat or anything. You could easily hook it up there. You could throw a jacket in on the outside and just strap it in with those straps. So I just don't get why they don't do that. You would still have easy access to all of these straps here for the hookup option if you had multiple bags and you could easily attach skis and stuff. And this is honestly, like they have it on some of their other bags, but I just don't know why they don't put it on all of them. But again, it's just, it's too big in my opinion. It's like the entire back, you know what I mean? Like it's just too big. I don't need something this big for going to work every single day kind of thing. I just find it too big. So again, the Hugger 20 liter is probably what would suit me best, assuming I could fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro in the side. Cause again, that's probably something that I'd like to have. I just find it too big. But in terms of quality, it's really good. There's a few things that are just silly things that the bag should have in my opinion. But other than that, that's my review of the douche bag. Overall, I love the color. I like that you can get different options. They are expensive, they're not cheap. The only reason I picked this one up is because I had some sort of discount code in attempt to become one of these ambassadors. So, and this one was on sale already, so I grabbed this one. They are really expensive. I don't think it's worth the original retail price, but I think they are a great option if you can grab one on sale. And if you have multiple, it really is a cool, complete system. And I think that's one of its biggest selling points. That's it. That's my review for the Hugger 30 liter douchebag backpack. Again, this is the Marcello edition. I'm a huge fan of the colorway. I really like this deep purple look. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And that's it for now. Mike McIntyre, signing off for now. All things sports. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, take care.